it may be cold outside, but things are heating up here at the UPMC Event Center as Robert Morris returns from a four-game road trip, and they will now open a four-game homestand of their own tomorrow night against Detroit Mercy at 7 o'clock right here at the UPMC Event Center. Now, Robert Morris, they wrapped up their first half of Horizon League play with a win over the Green Bay Phoenix last Saturday. I spoke to head coach Andy Tool about, about the first half of Horizon League play and what he has liked out of the performance of his team. I mean, I think we certainly had some good performances. I think we also, you know, pretty much in every game, given ourselves chances to win. I think that's that's one of the positives that we'll we'll take away from the first ten games. But I think what you understand is the value of every possession. I mean, each and every one of these games has come down to a handful of possessions somewhere during the course of the forty minutes. Some at the end, some at the beginning, um, and we've got to be able to learn from that and be better in those in those situations as we have our final ten here. Now it has been a roller coaster of a start to the Horizon League schedule for Robert Morris as they wrapped up their first half of Horizon League play. It's, they've been up and down, they've stacked together some wins, but have also suffered some losses and some three game losing streaks in between there. So let's look at how they fared so far this year heading into the second half of the league schedule. Now they defeated Wright State, the defending Horizon League champions to open up Horizon League play. They followed that up with a loss, a close loss to Northern Kentucky on the road. They opened up their second stand of Horizon League play against Purdue Fort Wayne at home. They got a win against the Mastodons, who were the preseason favorites. Then they went on to a little two-game slide against Cleveland State and Youngstown State before coming back home to defeat IUPUI, the Jaguars, before going on their last four-game road trip. They took on Oakland. They lost to them in a close matchup followed by a loss to Detroit Mercy on the road in Detroit. And then they lost another close one to Milwaukee before wrapping up their road trip with a win over Green Bay. Now I talked to head coach Andy Tool, returning home, getting off the sh three game losing schneid about how important it is to get a win and kick off their second half of Horizon League play with a win here at the UPMC Event Center tomorrow night. Every game is, is critical, right? Oakland seven and three. They're they're right there towards the top of the standings. You know, Detroit obviously beat us when we were up there. Um, you know, so we're just trying to really focus on Detroit, preparing, having a great practice today, being able to get ourselves to the level where we need to be to compete against, you know, Antoine Davis and uh, Gerald Liddell and you know AJ Oliver and the guys that they're going to bring forth. You know, handling their defense, uh, being able to find good shots, and then being able to try to slow down Antoine. So. You know, it's uh, a lot of challenges, and that's really where our focus lies. We're, we're not saying, hey, we got four in a row. We're saying we got a home game tomorrow night. Now, one of the players that has flown a little bit under the radar so far this year has been Michael Green III, who has been a reliable scorer off the bench for the Colonials so far, leading the team in assists with 90, and also becoming somewhat of a reliable scorer off the bench for the Colonials. I spoke to Tool about Green's role on the team and how he has developed into the role that he is playing in today off the bench. He's a guy who, you know, I think um, gives us such a such an edge when he comes into the game. And, you know, Mike's played so many minutes. He's played in so many different situations. He easily could be a, be a starter for us. And I think that gives us such comfort knowing that we have a guy with his experience, his capability on the bench. You know, he's playing, I think, the fourth most minutes on the team because of his production. Uh, he's a guy who can, you know, handle all the different reads and defenses that you'll see. Um, you know, he shot the ball better. You know, uh, the last few games, which is something we need to continue to have him do because, you know, if he's making perimeter shots, then he becomes a real problem in terms of being able to get into the paint and create for others. Now with Detroit Mercy coming into town tomorrow night, one of the main guys that Robert Morris will have to keep an eye on is Antoine Davis, who has had the Colonials number as of late in their previous matchups. I spoke to head coach Andy Toole about Davis' success against Robert Morris and what he has learned in those previous matchups to help with them in preparing for Davis tomorrow night. Yeah, he's hard to guard. That's what we've learned. Um, you know, he's an incredible shot maker. Uh, he's a guy that is a willing passer, you know, when, when he sees help. Um, and he puts so much pressure on your defense. I mean, that's, that's what you learn real quick. And, uh, you know, we haven't really been able to, to break his rhythm yet. Um, we've got to be able to try and do a better job tomorrow night because, you know, if he gets into a scenario where he gets going, uh, he certainly then becomes even harder to stop than he, than he originally is. And their team, you know, can really f flow on all levels. So, um, we'll have the we'll have our work cut out for us tomorrow night, and we need a great practice today to be able to you know, finalize our preparation. Now, it will be important for Robert Morris to stack together some wins as they are at home for a large majority of the second half of their league slate. And it will even be important for them to get off on the right foot against Detroit Mercy tomorrow night. Reporting for Colonial Sports Center, I'm Ethan Morrison.